perhaps you've heard all the rich people and financial gurus telling you that you need to pay yourself first by setting money aside into investments before you spend that money on bills and other discretionary purchases. Or maybe you want to get into dollar cost averaging and want to keep investing in your favorite mutual fund no matter the highs and lows of the market so that several years down the road you'll have a very nice nest egg going into retirement. If that sounds like you, then that's perfect because I'm Charismatic Chris and in this video I'm going to show you number one, how you can make automatic bank transfers from your bank to your Fidelity investment account every month, as well as number two, how you can invest a set amount into your favorite mutual fund or mutual funds every month without you even needing to worry about it. So let's get straight into it. All right, so here I am on Fidelity.com. We're gonna go up to Accounts and Trade, hover over it and go down to Transfers. And then once this loads, you'll see a link called Manage Automatic Investments. So we'll click on this because we're trying to set up some automatic investments. All right, so now we'll see, since I don't have any automatic transfers scheduled yet, uh, you're going to see this page immediately. Uh, if you have transfers already scheduled, maybe one time or recurring already, they'll show up here and I'll show you what it looks like. But down here, you'll have two options. The first option on the right is just to set up a transfer moving money from your bank account to your Fidelity account, meaning once that money's moved over, it's just going to sit in your Fidelity account and it won't be invested unless you go in and manually choose to invest it. So this is great if you just want to set aside a portion of money every month that you can use to you know, invest in whatever you want to invest in. Now the other option is setting up automatic investments to actually invest money. And to do this, it will take money from your Fidelity account, so money that's already there, and invest in your you know, favorite mutual fund or whatever mutual fund you want to invest in. Or it can also directly take money out of your bank account and immediately invest it uh, instantaneously as well. So on the right, it's just moving money. And on the left is actually investing that money, whether it's investing money already in your account or moving money and immediately investing it. So I'm going to just cover how to do the transfers really quick, just because it's a very simple process, very fast. Uh, so I'm going to set that up first, and then I'll show you how to actually do the investing. So once you're here, you're going to need to select what bank account you want to move it from, right? Because hopefully you have a bank to move money out of if you're doing this. And it's going to need you to have already linked a bank. So if you haven't linked a bank to Fidelity and need some help doing so, I will link my tutorial up here. But otherwise, we're going to assume you've already linked it. So you're just going to select the bank that you care about. Then you're going to scroll down here. You're going to choose uh, what account your uh, money is going to be transferred to. If you have only one account, there's only gonna be one account, but if you have multiple, you're going to want to choose whichever one that you're going to invest it in. All right, so once you've chosen your account, you're going to choose some additional transfer details. You can do this just once, meaning you know maybe you're happy and you want to invest today, so you're transferring it. But if you're here with me right now, you probably want to set up automatic investments so you can do it every single month. So we're gonna change this frequency to monthly. And then you'll have the option of changing your start and end dates, meaning when you want your first transfer to happen and when you want your last one to be. I want this to continue forever, so I'm going to not touch any of these, but you can feel free to edit that. And then you're just going to put in whatever amount that you want to move over. Let's just say 500 as the example. We'll click continue. There's one last step just to review everything. If everything looks good, you're going to scroll down. You can read the terms and conditions, but you know, you'll have to agree anyway. So just submit. And you're done. That's it. So that was a very easy process. Takes a few, you know, maybe a minute uh, or two. Um, and you can see that there's a confirmation of when your transfer is scheduled for, and it tells you it's monthly. So that's how you can transfer money from your bank to Fidelity, and it'll just sit in Fidelity, meaning nothing will happen to it. Now I'm going to show you the other option, which is actually investing it. All right, so to get here, you basically just do the first few steps I showed you in the beginning of the video, going to accounts and trade, and then going to transfers. And so again, we're going to go to manage automatic investments. And like I mentioned, since we just set up a transfer, right, you're going to see all of your scheduled transfers up here and it will confirm the schedule for you. So now because we want to set up a new transfer, we're going to click on schedule a new transfer. And again, you're going to have your two options. We just did this right one. So now I'm going to show you about automatic investments. So we'll click on set up an automatic investment. You're going to choose which account you want to invest in if you have more than one account. And this is what I was talking about where you can invest it from the account's core position or from an external bank account. And so the account's core position is basically the money that's already sitting in the bank account. 
Uh, so this might be the money that you just transferred over from your bank. Any money that's currently in your account, that's the core position. And, and this is cash, right? Not not money that's invested in stocks because that's that's money you can't use right now. This is the cash sitting in your Fidelity investment account right now. An external bank account is where the second option I said, where you can pull money from the bank and immediately invest it. So I'm going to show you from an external bank account first because this allows you to kind of kill two birds with one stone where you move money over and it invests this for you. So let's click on external bank account, click continue. All right, so then it's going to again ask you for what bank account you want to move it from. You'll select which one if you have more than one bank account linked. And then because we said from an external bank account, you have the option to transfer money to your brokerage core account. So this is essentially what we did uh, in the first part of this video, just transferring the money over. And you could totally do that, um, but this is an excessive way to do that if you're into that. But otherwise, we're going to choose investing in mutual funds you own. And it is important to note here that this is setting up automatic investments for number one, mutual funds, so not just any individual stock. And number two, you have to already own that mutual fund. So before you can start setting up automatic investments into a mutual fund, you have to manually buy it at least once before. So if you own more than one fund already, you're going to choose which fund you want to do it in, and then you're going to type in the amount that you want. So let's do 300, for example. And then you can choose up to four right now, setting up in this one automatic transfer. So meaning just setting it up once, you can auto invest in four of them. Let's say you own eight mutual funds and you want to automatically invest in all eight of them. So you'll set up this for four of them, you'll click OK, and then you'll repeat the process for the other four. So this does not mean you can only set up automatic investments for only four, it means four at a time. So if you have any more, you can go ahead and choose. So let's say I want to do international, maybe I'll do 100. And so it adds up your total here. So however much you want to do there, feel free to change it up. And here's the investment schedule. So you can choose what day of the month you want to do it in, or you can let Fidelity pick for you. And here's your frequency. Uh, I do monthly because I want to invest every month and I want to get that dollar average for our, my monthly investments. If you want to do quarterly, you can also do that. You can also create a custom schedule, meaning maybe you don't want to do every month, but you also don't want to do quarterly. Maybe uh, you have a really interesting pay schedule and you only get paid on some months. You can choose whichever month that you want to invest in. So I'm just going to click on monthly for the purposes of this. And again, I'm going to do no stop date, meaning I just want to continue forever. You can also choose if you want to stop your automatic investments after some date. All right, so if you're happy with all of the settings that you put, we're going to click on next. It's going to verify for you. It's going to show you once again how much you're investing in whatever mutual funds you selected, your investment schedule. You can read through this, I'm not, uh, and then we'll click I agree. And there we go. It says your instructions have been received and it's going to show you the schedule. And then it says that you can set up automatic investments for another account, which is a shortcut. So you don't have to go here and you know go down to draft and do the same thing. You can just set it up again for another account or you can do it for the same account and do it for other funds that you weren't able to select that time. So hopefully now you know how to set up automatic bank transfers to your Fidelity account as well as make automatic investments in mutual funds every single month so that you can invest without even thinking about it. If you found this video helpful, please consider giving it a like and perhaps even subscribing. If you have additional questions or comments, please leave them below in the comments. I love responding to them. But otherwise, thank you for watching. I will see you next time hopefully and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!